What's going on everybody? King of Dragons 5000 here coming at you with another figure review. Today we'll be having a look at the Mattel DC Comics Multiverse Justice League Walmart exclusive Cyborg. Here we do have Cyborg in the packaging and you can see a really beefed up version of Cyborg and he does come with half of three the three mother boxes which we'll explain that when we get him out of packaging. Really love the style of Cyborg so let's actually take a little look. We do have a little bio for Cyborg, and as evil threatens humanity, Cyborg must join the unprecedented, unprecedented team of superheroes to save the planet. And we have an image of Cyborg right here. The only other figure of this line is Batman, and when you have both figures, you get to make the Atlantean, the Human, and the Themyscarin mother box. So really looking forward to getting these guys out in assembling the mother boxes. So what we're going to do now is take a little break, get Cyborg out of the packaging, and then we'll go on to the rest of his review. So sit tight everyone. So here we have Cyborg posing out of the packaging. Before we get on to the figure, let's actually show off his accessories. He does come with the other half of all three mother boxes. We have the Atlantean mother box, we have the human mother box, and we have the Themyscarin mother, mother box. You do need Batman to actually make them all. They don't actually interlock with one another, although it makes for some really cool designs. I'll, I'm not going to lie about that, but yeah, you do need Batman and Cyborg to complete all three mother boxes, so let's just move those off to the side really fast and have a look at Cyborg. And I'm going to say this. I think I like this Cyborg a little more than I liked his previous release. You know, the one that we got with a Steppenwolf build a figure But, yeah, I think I like this one a little bit more, and I'm actually inclined to do a head swap, because I think the one thing I don't like about this figure is the head sculpt. And we'll get more on that in a little bit, but just like with the other Cyborg, all the, his metallic pieces are painted, or done, so it looks like it's a living metal. I I mentioned this when I reviewed the Comic-Con Cyborg and the, uh, what was it, the Steppenwolf Cyborg. The only thing that doesn't, that looks a little off is the back. You can see how all, everything else is like this crumpled metal, this living metal. We get to the back and it looks mechanical. And it's also that way on the arms, but yeah, I think the design should have carried over that if, this is what I think it is, and he's building up his armor. It should actually look more mechanical, not all crumpled up, but still a really nice looking figure. Now let's actually move Cyborg off to the side really fast and bring in the Steppenwolf Cyborg. And as you can see, major difference in the two figures. There are some paint differences in the two. This one does have a little more gunmetal in his legs. But overall, they are similar, but they are not the same. I have heard some p reviewers say that they not want to pick. They don't want to pick this cyborg up because it's just a reissue of this guy. But from what I can tell, the only parts they share are actually from the waist down. Everything else from the waist up is nearly tooled for this guy, and I honestly don't know why. Collectors have been saying it's just a reissue of Cyborg because you can see it's not. Even the arms are completely new. He's just a much beefier figure in this. And even when it comes to the size, he's just a hair taller because this torso is a bit bigger. But still, overall, between the two, I like this one a little more. Now, this one doesn't come with any accessories. However... His right arm still pops off, and you can go ahead and take that that sound blaster and attach it to this one. So if you want to have this one with the sonic blaster or sound blaster, whatever it is, you can actually have it on him, which I'm actually inclined to do that. And in case you're wondering, yes, you can peg this arm on, but you can see that there's a lot of wiggle room there. So... It's not advised you can put the bulky arm on this cyborg, but that's a really nice fit. I do like the way that looks, and that's probably how I'm going to have mine posed. Let's actually get his arm back on. 
moving Steppenwolf Cyborg off to the side. So we can actually go on to his details. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about him is the head sculpt. And I'm really inclined to perform a head swap because you can't really see anything on this Cyborg figure. Uh, you can see his red eye, with that's the only thing, but his entire head sculpt is covered up now. It is nicely detailed. You can see all that detail right here. And even on the back, you can see a lot more detail. Still kind of wish that we could see Cyborg's actual face had an alternate head for this figure. But then going on to his back, you can see a lot of details, especially running through his spine. Let's move the head. You can see even more details right here at the neck. Arms are really nice and bulky. I do like that. I especially love the way his forearms look. That is a really nice look for Cyborg. And I'm mainly focusing on the upper torso because we have seen the lower torso. But again, just the way the light reflects off the plastic, it looks really, really nice. That's a really good design on Cyborg. And they managed to capture that pretty well on this figure. As they did on the previous Cyborg. So let's actually move on to Cyborg's articulation now. He does have a little bit more articulation than the previous Cyborg. And we're going to go ahead and have a look at that. His head seems to actually work a little better. You can actually shift it forward to have him look up. And you can shift it back to have his head flush with his neck, although I, I'm not going to do that. But he does, his neck joint actually works a little better. He does get some really slight pivot, and again, it's really slight, some left and right movement there. His arms, although he has these shoulder pads, they're not at all hindered. Uh, at first looks, it looks like that's all his arm can go up, but his shoulder pads are actually a soft plastic, so they actually do go over the torso, so that really does look nice. Arms do a full 360. He swivels right here at the bicep. He is single jointed at the elbow, and now this is where the articulation on the arms differ is different. This one has no swivel right here. Well, because of the interchangeable arm, this one has a swivel right here at the forearm. This one does spin at the wrist. And this arm also does spin at the wrist, so a lot of articulation in his arms. No ab crunch, unfortunately. This was a perfect opportunity to have hit that ab crunch in the sculpt, and it would have looked so nice if he had some kind of ab crunch. But he does have a waist swivel. Legs go forward to about there. Back about that far. Out. Pretty good distance. He has a swivel in the thigh, but it is still angled. I don't know why Mattel angles their thigh joints. It That's not how joints work. He has a single bend in the knee and has an ankle hinge which works pretty well and no boot swivel. Anyway, that's Cyborg for you guys. What I'm going to do now is take a little break, get him posed for my final thoughts, then we'll wrap up this review. So sit tight everyone. So here we have Cyborg posed for my final thoughts. Overall, I really do like the way this figure came out. Again, I really am not a fan of Cyborg, but here I have already picked up four different Cyborg figures. We have the Comic-Con version, the Steppenwolf version, the Rebirth pack, and then and now this one. And out of the Mattel versions that I have, I think this is my favorite one. I am really tempted to just head swap it, but I don't know enough about the, this look of him to say, oh yeah, I'm going to head swap that. I might end up doing it anyway because I love the design of this figure. But still, really, really well done. And he, as you can see, his plasma rifle, the sound blast, the sonic boom, whatever you want to call it, does fit on this figure too. So if you want to use it on him, you can. Just be aware that this arm isn't meant to fit the Steppenwolf Cyborg, so... There is that. But anyway, if you're looking for this Cyborg and Batman, they are exclusive to Walmart. And they are just barely starting to hit shelves here in America. I know Canada was the first ones to actually see these guys in stores. But having Cyborg in hand, I really do like the way this figure came out. If you can find them, definitely pick them up. Especially if you want to have your own mother boxes complete. And just completing them 
here really fast. You can see it looks really, really nice. It is off-colored, unfortunately, so I'll have to work on that. But anyway, if you like this video, guys, don't forget to, to thumbs up it, leave a comment, subscribe to my channel, go check out all my other Justice League reviews, as well as all my other DC and Marvel reviews. Hopefully there's something you guys like. If there's a figure you would like to see me review, let me know down in the comments. And if it fits in my collection, I'll definitely have a look at it. And until next time, guys, I'm King of Dragons 5000, and I'll see you later. Take care, everyone. <laughs>